<clears throat> okay guys, so we're all done. I do have some leftover parts, but I'm good with that. So something you may or may not know about me is um, I love collecting sugar skull skeleton gothic themed ephemera bits. That is really my thing. Not necessarily Halloween bits. I know I showed a few times these sticker packs um, and using stickers from them. I didn't buy them because they were Halloween themed. In fact, I will never use the Halloween word on here. I bought them though because I was really attracted to um, the more non-traditional Halloween images of like the bugs and stuff like that. Um, then there were some cool skulls and stuff in here and this one has um, more skulls and flowers and I like that part of it. Um, these are stamped image, rubber stamped images from some stamps I own. Um, these are by a designer named Daniel Torrente and if I can remember to, and these are still available and I can remember to link the site where you can get these, I'll do it in the video description. If I forget, somebody remind me, okay? Um, I have these sugar skull decals, which I don't remember where I got. Um, probably Amazon? I don't know, but I've got a lot of them. Um, I have this sheet of skull stickers. I probably bought a few Halloweens ago. Obviously, I've used quite a few of them. We used some of them up in this journal, which is great. Um, these, you saw me using some of these, including these here. These are from a digi download from my friend Mike Deacons at, um, he doesn't have an Etsy shop, his website. And then I printed them on sticker paper. These are a foil transfer of some dancing skeletons. To be honest with you, I don't know why I have these. I know where I got them from. I actually think I'm going to purge them. So those are going to go away. Um, the rest of these I'm keeping even though I have used it up. Now the, this, you saw me use a few of these and you saw me use one actual label like that. So this is from a wine brand called Curious Beasts. They make a few different kinds of wine and their wine labels have sugar skulls and skeletons on them. Now I don't really drink anymore very much, um, but when I do have the occasion to buy wine, if I see this kind of wine around, I will buy it for the label on the bottle, which you can soak in some water and get off, but also frequently their wine will come in this little like paper wrapper. The wine bottle will come wrapped in this paper wrapper, which of course you see I've saved. It has the same images on it as the label I just showed you. They do have one other kind. And this is, this is from their Cabernet. They have this purple one. Um, so I'm going to keep keeping these. I do like them and I do use them. I did email the company and ask them, can I just get labels? They'll probably say no, but it's worth a shot. I mean, you never know. They could say yes. I'd be surprised, but they could say yes. Anyway, when I ran across all of these, when I was cleaning and sorting ephemera and... Um, <clears throat> The black and white images like this one, um, I really thought that all of it just needed to be in a journal by itself. I liked the idea of doing it on a background of distressed black paper. That was really a lot of fun. Um, it just is more collage than, and writing than anything else. Everything that I wrote is stuff that just came to me as I was creating the page. Some of it may not make sense to some of you, but it's just what came to me. And so I'll do a little flip through here while we're chatting. Um, I really enjoyed making it very much and I will probably be doing another one. I probably need to collect some more bits. I don't know where this image came from. I must have printed it from somewhere. I do have a lot of old, my daughter would probably call them vintage, <laughs> um, digital images from, you know, I used to buy Dover books back in the day and come with a CD-ROM full of images. This may be from one of those, I don't remember. Um, and if I can figure out where it is, I need to print myself some more because I don't have any more. Um, more Daniel, Daniel Torrenti images. These um, sort of vellum stickers in the background, I think those were from Wish. Um, they were sort of a mathematical themed set of stickers. I don't know where the owl came from. Got no idea, probably a magazine. Um, but they, it was a lot of fun to create. I really enjoyed myself very much. 
more than I thought I was going to, to be honest with you. I thought, you know, this is just going to be a wild, crazy, weird journal to do. But you know what? I just turned on, this is one of the skeletons from the wine label. I just turned on YouTube and listened to some YouTube while I was creating the pages with no plan. And I um, just let it be pretty organic and just come as I felt it needed to. And yeah. It's really, for me, the way to do these art journal, little art journal pages, and I love that it was just a small little art journal that I could get it done pretty quickly. And I can't wait to do the next one. And I have leftover black distress paper, so yay. Anyway, I, if you take something like this idea and you do something with it, I'd love to see what you do. Please tag me in, in your posts on social media or um, share the link to your YouTube video if you do YouTube. Don't forget to enjoy your art, have some fun, dig out those weird, strange collection of parts you might have in the dark recesses of your art room and create something with them and share and let us all in on the inspiration. And above all, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.